What's up everybody, Shauna D Man here and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing relatively well. Hope you guys are doing pretty good. We are back with the part two playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. And we are gonna pick up right where we left off. I don't really remember this particular thing. Containers named oh okay. That's right. Oh so so I actually did like maybe like I think I was like five minutes into doing the part two when like I realized that the audio wasn't working for some reason. So so let's see. Alright, this is this is gonna be trial and error, I guess. That's fine. Oh, Yes. I guess that works too. All right, what we got? Oh, fiber armor. But I did a number. Let's go. Okay, seal ourselves back up. I get. I don't know. I guess that's fine. All right, come on, cars. Let's go. Let's do this. Make sure we're gooch. All right, so. What else is down here? Apartment door. Open that. Oh no. Sonic grenade. Car, why did you just run in there like that? You idiot. Ah, you gotta stop running in there like that. He has a oh he has a shield, no wonder. Come on, baby, quit missing. Quit missing. There we go. Yes, what's on your Sorry, mind? I didn't mean not do that. You got it. Yeah, I don't have oh there we go. It's, it's like it's like What do you got? Blasters. Oh energy shield, that's useful. What's in here? That pack, good. Good, 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 good. This is actually a good bit of stuff. Okay, let first off, let's heal ourselves back up. Uh -huh. Sure. Next, what we're gonna do? I think I should probably take the energy shield primarily because I I'm doing the melee. Well, you're like running right at him. I don't know why you're doing that, Karth, but whatever. Okay. Uh see, I have, I have to save because I feel like there's a certain part I remember about this section. It's like a Sith warrior or something, I think, behind one of the... Oh, dear God! Uh... There you go. Yeah! Quit it. Leave him alone. Oh, that was relatively easy. Good job, Garth. Yeah, I don't have anything. Uh, credits, computer... Okay, that's nice. That's useful. Anything in here? Nope. Guys, take. Nope, nothing in here with your body, so that's lame. Sentry droid. Hey, let's see. Repair the droids. This droid is now active. It will attack enemies that come in range. Ultima. Well, do I really want to. I don't know if. I, I don't know if I really want to, like, waste. Hold on. I wonder. Let me make sure first. Yeah, this is fine. I can I can take this guy. There we go. I, I guess I didn't really need that. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, can't I access that? You don't have anything. Stick the crate. Good, good. That's good stuff there. I can't check you, you're lame. Nah, the droid's fine. I won't really activate that. Standard door. Okay, Laura City. I wonder if that should put us back where... Yeah, there you are. Let me see if I can try to persuade you again. There we go. 
Tolbada Bunkwalia Dandota Nago Chuchut Kachi Chua Itha Haudunga Yumalitka Inkotun Chilo Mulra de Nebobo Munko Kun Biskang Bamulara Takum Justak Miki Gravel Mogo Kachi Chua Itha Haudunga Tolbada Bunkwalia Dandota Nago Chuchut Moga Shampoo Oh, you're a snitch Bamule slick mo po da na wanga kun beast muli ra best kachi chu ay sa haudunga in kin kun o bamule ra chin kun slim apo da na rundi haudunga kun hong kabi. Maybe there's any way I can help her. We ita na da na ita. Oh. Kawa ma huha nek a shong turong umnipatoga. Wana kun des ching pala mul tongi. Maybe you could turn the tables. Maybe fake your own. Oh yeah, that's right. maybe fake your own death. Maybe you could turn the tables. You know, have Davik. Uh, yeah, maybe fake your own death. We ita na dan na yitya kunti chani tong patoga smaktelia. Tell me your plan. I'm uh, okay. Takum justak miki gravel mogo. Oh, I don't think I have like a frag grenade or something. Moga shampoo, bola wana chikni. Bamule slick mo poda na wanga kun beast muli ra best. Got an accomplice. Go back and tell David that they they were lost. Explosion to eliminate me. Okay. Jun king no una pang pa muli ra kun kili kun kili no pa. What a timanyo cola, una no ku mulira, what a wama mulira, king kuncho peshak, no ba mulira ji, joni kuncho, we eat a dia, pola una chinek, ba mulira, slimo wanga kunbis king. Okay. I could get you that. Don't let it eat warm jiji you malit pa ang yinkotu. The upper city, you might. Da bunk walia gando de nago chuchut. Kachi chuai haudunga. Maybe. Okay. Okay, okay, that's interesting. Okay, so we. Oh, get back this way. Back this way. The upper city. So I wonder if. Um, let's do that first. Let's see if we can try to get that done really quick. Cause I don't think it'll be. Not much of a uh, of a headache. So let's go back this way. Go back up. Wouldn't be it wouldn't be at the droid place. It would be at that uh the other one. I can't remember her name. So it should be. We good. We'll go this way. Listen to me, people. Not the droid place. So let's walk back all the way over here. By the way, I hope you guys, like I said before in the beginning, I hope you guys are doing relatively well. I I know Star Wars Outlaws comes out later out this year, or actually this month. I haven't really decided on if I am going to play it or not. I It looks fine, but I don't know. It's just... I haven't really played like a Ubisoft game in quite some time, so it's really... We can also buy some med packs, but anyway, um, I haven't played a Ubisoft game in quite some time, so eh, I don't know. We'll see. If I do, what will probably happen is we will kind of hold off Knights of the Old Republic um, and just quickly do out Outlaws quick, uh, real fast, like just spam out a bunch of videos for that. All right, let me see. Welcome to the equipment. Let me see what you got for sale. Because of the Sith How much do I have now? 626. I can actually probably show me the sale list. What do I have I can sell? I got some junk. Oh, we're keeping that. Prototype Vibro Blade. This is. Keep all that. Huh. Okay. That it? Alright. So let's go back to buy list. Yeah, we'll take a bed pack. 
Well, why did I buy that here? Those are going to be useful. Do you have one? You do. Oh, good. It's 50. Nice. These are mines. I don't really... Stuff. Let's see. Concussion grenade. Give me that. Frag. Give me that. All right. Check. All right. So we got that. So let's head back and, and find the dude. Excuse me. Um, anyway, as I was saying, um, I don't know. Like, it looks fine. It looks look good. I don't want to be quite honest. Like, I don't really know how I feel about the. With a game like Outlaws, I. Oh, wait. How many do I have? Seven? Let's go over here real quick. With a game like Outlaws, I typically. Would rather have the ability to Welcome like. It will just take. Oh no, I want to do I that. Say. Welcome back. And there we go. Here you go for sale. Of just step over here, and I'll show you what I. Advanced med packs. Give me that. Oh god, that was a lot. But that's okay. That's fine. That's fine. I can, I can, I can get the credits back. It's not a big issue. But anyway, um. I would have, if a, if a game like that, I would have the, would rather have the ability to just play the kind of character I want to play. So, like, create your own character. With games like that, I would rather have that ability. I necessarily don't care for, like, having a main protagonist um, in, in something like that. Because, I don't, I don't Like, the models are fine, but... The f well, I remember watching the trailer for it. I c couldn't really get over the face that they used. Whereas you look at the voice actress who was playing or who was doing the actress, or I'm sorry, who was doing the um, the voice for the character. This elevator is off limits. It's obvious from the way you're. <sighs> Move along then. We're gonna need some kind. Oh, for the love of it, I gotta go back over here now. Um. Wait, where's my Sith armor? Okay, so I had to um, load back in. Uh, we're gonna have to, okay, we're gonna have to redo this again. So let's just redo this real fast. So the it, there was a glitch that caused because like. The Sith armor isn't here anymore, and that's that's not good. So, well, I'll have to figure something out because I won't be able to go back out until, um, or I, I won't be able to you know head back up up into the city until you know I get a a new thing because there is a way because I could like trade the suit for like or the armor for authorization papers to like save me time on that but I well, I don't know we'll see we'll figure it out so let's just keep going oh I did not want to go all the way down here that's fine alright golly I, I took some hits right there what is this? Oh, Volker base entrance. Yeah, I don't even have anything. Wasting my time. Okay. Oh, wait. Let's check you. Oh, that's useful. You don't need it. You're fine, Karth. <laughs> I need it more than you. Alright, so I won't be able to go back out that way because I don't have my Sith armor, so we'll have to try to... Just do what we can. Don't cause any trouble. Uh, you have your problem. Okay. Save that for now. We'll come back to that. That is the hidden back base. Hey, you can't just walk in here. This is the hidden back base. How do I know you're not a Vulcan spy sent to kill Gadon? Who? 
A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadon. He's a hero of the common folk. Mm -hmm. The days of the Hidden Vex open door policy are gone. Between the Sith Conquest and the Vulture Gang War, Gadon has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. Uh, maybe I could. Well, we do need all the help we can get. And you don't look like you're with the Vultures or the Sith. Nope. Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm Gadden in the heart of his own base. Not with Zedra watching Zedra. Go in and speak to Gadden if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The hidden Vex are watching you. Okay. Alright, so we got... Alright, I know that's that. Um... No. Let's go into... Here first. Let's go in here first and snoop around and check out all this before we do anything else. Hi there, not many people are coming here to speak to me more. I prefer to fans. Oh, it's Pazak. No. I don't want to deal with that. Greetings, stranger. My name is Galroot. Are you a Pazak player? Nope. If you're ever looking for nope. a map, I'm not inter interested in Pazak. Uh oh. Go away. Kalo Nord. Uh-oh. Why he can't? Come on, buddy. Three. Okay. Go away. Okay. Smart. I want to. Don't mind me, guys. Sorry. Six credits. I can't wait for the big swoop race. I hear the Volkers have a new engine that's going to break. I told you to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like Bantha oh. Voodoo. Who you call a little girl, Chuba Face? Chuba Face. Just a sec, boys. Zalbar, a little help here? I need you to rip the legs off some insects. She has a Wookiee! Quit complaining. You can finish eating later. Besides, you need the exercise, so get over here. <laughs> yeah, whenever you see a Wookiee, you walk away. You don't, you don't pick fights with Wookiees, that's for sure. You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. So unless you want to take on my furry friend, I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. Yeah, there. Okay, let's uh. Say, I don't recognize you, and I know pretty much everyone in the lower city. You must be new down here. I guess that makes me and Big Z your official welcoming committee. Oh, thanks. It's not that strange. Most aliens can speak basic. They just prefer to use their own language. But I grew up here on Terra, so I just sort of got used to speaking the native tongue. You showed a lot of guts dealing with those Vulkers, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo, and this big Wookiee is my best friend Zalbar. I'd 
offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. But if there's anything else you need. Uh, uh, let's see. I want to ask you. Yeah, I don't. Okay. Well, you came to the right person. If you want info on Lower Terrace, I'm the one to talk to. Davik, the Lower City Gangs. I even got the scoop on that bounty hunter, Callo Nord. How did a Wookiee and a twi Twi'lek street urchin? We just kind of fell in together. It ain't easy on your own here in the Lower City. Everyone's always looking to push you around. So we noticed. Still, you seem like an odd pair. When I met up with Zabar, it seemed like a pretty good match. I knew we could look out for each other. With my street smarts and his muscle, we make a Yeah, makes team. sense. Um, that's pretty much about it. You going? Yeah, this dive is pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z, let's go. <laughs> Think about something besides your stomach for five minutes. Come on, we'll go see if there's anything good to eat at the back base. Oh, nice! Level up. All right, attributes. Let's see. Attributes of your character apply bonuses. Penalties. Mm. I got one. Uh. This is important for everyone. But essential for a soldier. Oh, I'm not a soldier. Uh, you know what? What does it recommend? Dexterity? That's fine. Skills. All right, we got. I want to add more into persuasion. But let's do computer use and awareness. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. You have been granted the following feats. Implant level 2, uncanny dodge. Nice. Alright, so there's that. Isn't there another person that it should be? Let's see, where is he at? Those guys are dead. Holden. Huh? What? Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. My attention was kind of focused on the Twi'lek dancers. Look at them waggle the Oh, God. Tails. I don't normally go for these alien girls, but I've had some bad experiences with my own species lately. Maybe it's time for a change. Know what I mean? Mm. I don't like the tone of your voice. I work for Davit Kang. I'm used to people treating me with respect. Mm. I'm one of his top couriers. Davik's always sending me off planet to deliver and bring back packages. He knows he can trust me to follow my orders to the letter. Plus, I used to be an intergalactic customs agent, so I know all the tricks they use to catch smugglers. That gives me the edge I need on my courier runs. You're pretty open about what you do. It's not like it's some big secret. It's kind of hard for Davik to keep a low profile when he belongs to a big intergalactic crime syndicate like the Exchange. Davik's ship is the fastest one in the entire quadrant, but even the Ebonhawk can't get off Taurus until the quarantine is lifted. The Sith fleet has the planet surrounded. Any ship leaving orbit without proper access codes will be disintegrated by the Sith auto-targeting laser cannons. And those codes are locked safely away in the military base. Davik's pretty upset about it. His smuggling operation isn't making any money, but even with his underworld connections, he can't get his hands on those codes. Okay. Fine by me. Mm. Okay, I think that's pretty much it in this. What are y'all doing over here? What the hell are you? Ah, you got. That's really not a question that I'm all that interested in. I don't know what you are, but buddy, I'm out. Um. Citizen, citizen. Okay, I think that's relatively it. All right, so let's. I guess we can, we can go into the. Wait. Okay, never mind. Okay, 
Okay, never mind. I was thinking of something else. Alright, we could probably go into the base now, because like I said, I don't really think there's that much left for me to... Alright, let's head in. Okay. Oh. Nice place. Uh, let's see. Oh, I think that's him over here. Hold it right there. Who are you? And what is your business with Gad? Calm down, Zerdra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own streets. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Brezhik and his Valkers want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on sight, Zerdra? Like the Valkers do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. Okay. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Valkar spy. Sheesh. You'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Brezhik and the Vulkars began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. And the problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? You have a problem with the Sith? I need information on her. The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the upper city about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be... Calm down? Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has his own agenda. Don't worry about it. I'm not working with the Sith. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas. And that's okay in my book. The Vulcans stripped those pots clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcans found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. We Bex don't believe in intergalactic slavery, but the Vulcans aren't so picky. They took a mm. prisoner. Normally, the Vulcans would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcan Maybe. base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulcan scum at the base. Brezhik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. There has to be a way. I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezhik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual swoop gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezhik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila then? Well, we can't fight all the gangs. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the hmm. big season opener of the swoop race. Can you help me with this? Uh, yeah. I might be able to help you with this. If you oh be my willing God. to help us. Okay, fine. We both have something to gain here. And much to lose. All right, what are you proposing? The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hidden Vex this year. If you win the race, you will win your friend's free. <laughs> the heck? But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulcans stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. Okay, that's weird. Let's see, how am I supposed to get into the base? Getting into the Vulcan base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Veil. Vale. Mission? Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Mission's explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcan base, it's her. Where can I find her? She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the Undercity, despite the dangers. Your best bet is to look for her in the Undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith Guard post at the elevator. I see. A simple disguise might have worked on the Upper City Guard, but the security down oh, here is go. much tougher. 
You'll need the proper papers to get past him. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. Okay. Good choice. Thanks for the huh. uniforms. You won't need them with these security. Maybe I guess anyway. it was just a weird glitch in now, the game. Is there anything else I can do for you? I suggest you hurry. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. All right. So that f that actually like solves the problem. So what's this? I think all these doors are locked. Open that. Okay. Hi, how y'all doing? That's locked. Okay. Alright, so we do. So we got that now. Can I open this door? It's locked. I think. This one down here. Where does this go? Okay. Well, we're not gonna break in just because I mean, we're on, we're here like with good faith. So. Okay. So we got the papers. So we should be able to finish one. Do one thing maybe. First thing I want to do is we're going to I think at least to More man, we need more man packs. Y'all have anything? No. Uh, let's go back this way. Okay. So first thing I want to do is go back up here. So I want to. No, don't fight them. Let's go this. Holy shit! <laughs> no! Oh my god, are you freaking kidding me? That was not. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, so let's go this way. Go, attack. Hear you. You guys are behind with your payments. What do you uh, you think? Just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? Why did that sound like Bruce Campbell? <laughs> Ah, so you want to play this the hard way? <laughs> okay. Hmm? 
tu ni pudu. Rana nu prata dunt no sercha i chua penki. O kama o ama muli ra. Kenjun ju bashak. Oh, a Mandalorian. Oh, I forgot he was a Mandalorian. Turji chiwi ita do. Bola ora dicek. Bola muri slimo wanga kun bisching. I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candorus. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. Those Valkers are dumber than a chorus and granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon keeps his hidden Bex in line, but Brezik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back <laughs> down. I'm someone you don't want to get on the bad side of. And I'm not one for small talk. Really? I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Davik's got me working on a special assignment. Okay, what does this lead? Lower City Apartments. Okay. Let's... What is that? Get him. Nice. Oh, I see. That's the way. Okay, okay. Remember, you can use the rapid transit system to return to your base. Okay, that's fine. Okay. I don't really necessarily care at the moment. Okay, so let me do something. Let me check. Do this. Let's see what this does. Lower city apartments. Uh oh. Chiwi Aika Kachong Chicha. Agi Iko Dune Chunamori. I don't think you should have been insulting him. There's a bounty on your little green heads. I'm here to collect. Just Oh no. That's the plan. Oh. All right. Dang. Sheesh. Uh, no, they're not important. Oh, God. Let's go get him. Time to roll. Ah, one more should do it. Let's go. Cars, God dang it. Oh, that's interesting. I'll deal with that later. Shooting at. Where did they come from? Oh, 
Okay. Are we are we done here? Ugh. A pack that's useful. Alright, let's go ahead and let I'm gonna just auto I'm just gonna auto level up him. Yes. Let's see. This is electronic personal message center. Those I left on terrace. I heard your brother left for Tatooine to become a miner. Did he at least leave Hapidra? Are you still practicing with that blaster I gave you? you? Remember what I taught you because you might need it. I say, but mine. Nice. So, so. Hyperdrive. Shit, I forgot. Oh, no, no, uh, Her brother left to go. So I'm gonna say her father. Alderon. Okay, hold on, let me go back. for Tatooine. Oh, uncle. Hyperdrive. Uncle. De Shh. Come on. Hyperdrive. Uncle Alderon. Last of Republic. Oh. Sure. There we go. Nice little bonus suit right there for you. just in case because I don't know what is gonna come up behind these doors that's gonna cause me to get really frustrated but I'd rather not take that chance uh -huh. all right this is on it it's open yes stop right there or I'll give you a blaster shot right between the eyes now what are you doing here who are you no I'm the one with the blaster pointed at you I get to ask the questions what are you doing here I was exploring, I didn't know you were in here. Well, go explore somewhere else. There's nothing interesting for you here. This is your... I gave you a chance. Now you'll see why I... Oh, I got myself. Lame. Come on, finish her up. Come on, finish her up. Son of a finish her off. We got her. We got her. There you go. Heck yeah. Great job. What does she have? Scope. Advanced repair kit. Adrenaline. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna need some med kits. Good uh -huh. lord. 
go ahead and just top you off. All right, we're going to have to be careful now. But I think that's all of them, though. Shit, it's not. Okay, that's fine, though. It wasn't that tough. Okay. She used to give me a lot of problems, so that's why I, was, I think that's the one I was thinking of. Oh, wait, there's something here. That's right. Let's check this out. Disable mine. it okay oh wait no what's this armor reinforcement okay cool okay so that's everybody here we can head out okay so now we can go I think down that way yeah Yeah, I think this is right. Something seems to be bothering. Co okay. Yes, what's on your mind? Karis? The planet's all one big city, but its golden years are long past. And things have gotten worse since the Sith occupied it. From what I hear, the wealthy live on the tops of all the tall towers, and if you're poor, you live down in the shadows. And it gets worse the lower you go. Well, that's all I can think of, at any rate. I guess I did say you could ask me questions later, didn't I? Is this really necessary? All right, let's see. Oh, well, if it's an interrogation you wanted, why don't you... Jesus Christ, Karth! I was just joking. Though, you do seem to be full of questions. It's rather refreshing, to be honest. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened, from your perspective. Let me see. Like you said when we first met. True. Bastila is as powerful as I say. She's the one who defeated Darth Revan, after all. Mm. I guess that no Jedi ability, no matter how powerful, makes up for being completely surprised and outmatched. We didn't choose that battle anyway. It got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? What do you mean? I mean just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? Uh, I'm a scout. I was recruited into the fleet for my skills, if you must know. Well, that makes sense. Still, it seems a bit strange that someone who was a last-minute addition to the crew roster is one of the survivors. You yeah, I see. Buddy! You were the only one. Not to mention that Bastila's party was the one who requested your transfer. Why would... Come the Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board. And hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong. You're probably, yeah, you probably are probably wrong. Enough. The way you're just accusing me. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value, ever, and I hate surprises. I expect you're right. I've got no real reason to suspect you of anything. Still, it's better to be safe than sorry, right? Uh. Look, it has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone, and I have my reasons. And no, I'm not going to discuss them. So can we just keep our mind on more important things? All right. Good. I God, such a such a jerk. What are these? Oh. Hold on there, Hello? civilian. Only those with official Sith business are allowed into the undercity. Unless you've got the proper security papers, you better just turn around and go back the way you came. Let me see. Uh, yeah, these look to be in order. Okay, you can go down if you want. Can't say I envy you though. The Undercity is crawling with mutants. Rackles, they call them. If you see anything moving down there, shoot first and ask questions later. Uh, thanks for the warning. Alright. You there! 
Upworlder! Anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll. Yeah, this is our oh, elevator. Oh boy. You use it, you gotta give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us down. Five credits! That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five credits! You know what? <laughs> credits, my brother! We have credits. Now we can buy food and medicine. Hush! Or the others will hear us. <laughs> They'll want our credits. We have to hide them. Go on, you two. Get out of here. I'm sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad This voice actress sounds familiar. Like that, you know. Most of us are good people. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. My name's, uh, my name's Gail Cast. Who are you? My name is Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I've, I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars. It all sounds so... So... So wonderful. Gendar, the leader of our village, tells me I should spend more time... You know what's really sad about this whole thing? Is what happens later on with, with the game. Well, not with the game, but with Terrace. probably think I'm a fool. Having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But like, these there, people don't even know. Kill used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. Uh, I see. Rukio's the oldest man in the village. The kids call him Rukil Wrinkleskin, but he's a kind man. He used to tell me the greatest stories when I was a little girl. I still like to listen to his tales about the promised land. Even though I know they're just legends, but it helps to make the Undercity seem less... Less dark somehow. Okay, what's that? It's it's just a story to make little children smile. Rukil believes in it, though. Sometimes I can almost believe it myself, but then I look around and see the ugly truth. I guess we have to make the best of what we have, though. If you really want to learn more about the Promised Land, you should speak to Rukil. Where can I find him? He's wandering around somewhere on the south side of the village. He doesn't move too far. He's hard on his bones. He's over 100 years old. The children laugh at him, and people think he's crazy because of his stories about the Promised Land, but he's really just a kind old man. Okay. You'd probably get more Uh, let's see. I don't know anything about that, but maybe Gendar could help you. Sorry. Is there anything else you need? No, that's pretty much it. Oh, okay. Well, if you ever need anything, or if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. I hardly ever get a chance to speak to someone from the Upworld. Yeah, no problem. Alright. Let's, uh... Wait, Upworlder. You can't go through this gate. Farewell. Okay. Let's see, who are you? You, you come from the world above. Is this the time of destiny then? Is this a portent of the salvation of my people? Or merely another false sign to mislead us from the path? Are you the herald of prophecy? The beacon to guide us through the darkness? Or are you merely another harbinger of shattered dreams and unfulfilled promises? Be careful. This one might be crazy enough to be yours. <laughs> Speak to me, Upworlder. Tell me what fate you unleash upon us. Salvation or damnation. Speak, Upworlder. I beg you. Um. Question. You are uncertain, bewildered, perplexed. Understandable, I suppose. Even after a hundred years of life. I myself still become confused. I'm times. sure. Perhaps I can make things more clear. Some things, at least. My name is Rukil, the oldest outcast here in the village. Rukil Wrinkleskin, the children call oh, me God, sometimes. Oh, God, so mean. Once, I was honored for my wisdom. Over time, the villagers fell away from the true path. Eventually, there was only a single apprentice who followed me. Now she is gone too. Oh, the true path. What does that mean? No, 
No, no, not yet. I must be wary. Careful. You may be a false savior. Dare I share my secrets with you? No. Not until you prove yourself. My apprentice is... lost. I sent her out into the Undercity to find... Well, I cannot tell you. Mm -hmm. Not yet. Sadly, my apprentice has not returned. Please, She's probably Walter, dead. Will you help an old man? Will you seek out my apprentice in the Undercity? Her name is Malia. I must know of her fate, whatever it may be. I must know what she found. Yeah. Finding her may be difficult. Malia could be anywhere in the Undercity. But if you will... Okay. Uh... I wish you luck. Okay. I know she's dead. Greetings, Upworlder. We rarely see your kind here in the Undercity. I find it strange that so many of you have come down from the surface recently. No offense, but... I can see why people normally leave Carth. this place. Why have you come into this dark and sunless place? Is there something you need of me or my village? I will help you however I can. Uh, uh... Our village has seen many visitors from the surface recently. Armored troops, swoop gang members, mercenaries. They come to search our sunless world. They're even searching the sewers. I'm looking for a Twi'lek. Yes, I have seen this Twi'lek many times, though I've never spoken to her. She and her Wookiee companion often pass through our village on their way to explore the sewers. How can I get to the sewers? There are two entrances into the sewers from the Undercity. One to the northeast of our village, the other to the southeast. But the sewers are dangerous, Upworlder. If you dare to travel those dark tunnels, you would be wise to go heavily armed, unless you wish to become a meal for the rock ghouls and the other foul creatures. Thank you. As you wish, Upworlder. Uh... Oh, that's just you. Never mind. Hey, you ain't from the village. You're from the Upworld, ain't you? Yes. <sighs> Buddy. Credits, I bet. Watch yourself. There's something slimy about this guy. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. My name's Saigir. I run a little salvage shop. All right, let me see what you got. It ain't the best. That's be useful. Oh. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. I'm out of money. The uh, med packs were a lot more important than anything else, so that's fine. I'm not too upset. Hurry, Hendar! Hurry! I can hear it coming! He'll never make it. He's doomed. <sighs> I told him he was a fool to leave the village. He will make it. Run, Hendar, run! Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! Uh, I... I can't! The raccoons are too close! The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate! And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all! No! You can't oh, do God. this! It isn't fair! Please, make him open the gate! Hindor will die if he doesn't! I can't open the gate! Not while the raccoons are so near! You'd risk your life for a stranger? Yeah, open the gate. <laughs> You're brave, Upworlder. I'll open the gate for you, but you gotta be quick. In a few seconds, I must close and lock it again. Let's go. Oh, it's right there. Holy hell. Oh, shit. He actually got hit on me. Let's go. Ready. Ah, it's gonna suck what? dealing with that. I can't thank you enough for saving me, Upworlder. If I had anything but these rags on my back, it would be yours. But we have nothing. I still have you, Hindar. 
That's all I need. Let's go back to the village. Okay. Uh, let's see. Map. Hold on me. Do a quick save. Map. So he said the northeast. So probably out that way, I would assume. Oh wait, no, don't do that. I didn't mean to do that. So I don't think there's like anywhere else to explore. I think we have to go, yeah. I think we have to like go through the gate in order to um, go where we need to. Cause there's the elevator. Back again. Is this? Thank you. Please help us. We're infected with the rat ghoul disease. At any moment, we could. Uh, no! This cannot be. No! Uh, poison oh for f sakes there we go we're fine yes oh god I did some damage I oh, don't let me let me see you back again Is thank you Please, please, you have to help us. We beg you. We don't want to end up like the others. Please help us. You, you'll help us? Oh, we have the rat ghoul disease. It is only a matter of time until we are transformed into terrible creatures like those who attacked you when you first came into the pen. It is too late for them. Soon it will be too late for us. No worry, I'll be back with a cure for you. Please hurry up, or don't forget. Oh, uh, I forgot where to. Do I just search the bodies? Is that what I do? I don't really remember. Uh, I know I've I remember playing before, and yeah, okay, we do got to go through. Okay, yeah, we do got to go through that gate. I remember playing before, and I was able to like find the cure for it. Um, don't remember how I did it though. Oh, let me just. Uh, this is gonna suck. All right. Please, you have to help me. Nobody else is gonna help me. Even the Bex won't help me. But I can't just leave him there. He's my friend. You'll help me, won't you? It's Zabar. He's in trouble. Big trouble. We have to help him. If we don't, they'll sell him into slavery. Alright, calm down. Me, me and Zabar, we were just wandering around here in the Undercity. You know, looking for stuff we could find. Just kind of exploring. We do it all the time. I guess with a Wookiee at your side, you've got to figure you can handle the odd rat ghoul attack. Only this time, they were waiting for us. Gamorrean slave hunters. We didn't even have a chance to run. Big Z threw himself at him and then roared for me to run. I, I took off. I figured Zalbar would be right behind me. But there were too many of them. He couldn't get away. They're going to sell him to a slaver. I just know it. All right, where did they take him? I don't know for sure, but those Gamorians like to hang out in the sewers. The stink reminds them of home, I guess. That's probably where they took Big Z. All right. It's a deal. As soon as we get Big Z back, I'll show you a way into that Volker base. Now come on. We have to find Zalba before they sell him to slavers, or worse. Do you know where he's being kept? The Gamorians make their camps in the sewers. I bet that's where we'll find Zalbar. And that's where I'll show you the secret entrance into the Volker compound. Okay. She's with us. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna let it auto. Did 
Let's see. What does she have weapon wise? Blaster. Let's give her. I guess. What is this? What? What? Okay. Okay. All right, we're set. We right, got mission now, so now we're pretty evened out. So let's see. I guess we'll start this way you there. you there civilian this is a restricted area what are you doing down here uh, just taking a walk security papers oh you're one of those trackers the commander sent down right they should have given you an armed escort it's nasty down here we've already lost one patrol we figure the rack ghoul got them. We've had so many encounters with those things, we've actually run out of rack gold serum. Plus, we've had several skirmishes with looters from those lower city swoop gangs. I'm telling you, we should just stay in the upper city where we're in control. Okay. Hey, hey, I'd never disobey my orders. I'm not a fan of court martials and executions. I was just talking, you know. <laughs> Nothing anyone has to mention to the commander. All right. Okay, so there's that. He said they were out of rat ghoul suit. Would I saw one running up? Yeah, there, yeah, there's one right there. The hell? All right, I want them come to me. Why is it running like that? I hate that. Alright, one at a time. Check. Okay, yeah, he's coming. How'd you like that? All right. What? Karth, you are. Oh. Yes. What? Yeah. Yes. All right. Skills. Let's see. Let's do that. Repair. Persuasion. And that's fine. Feats. What do you recommend? Power attack. Oh yeah. Let's do that. Trooper there. What is that? Sewer entrance. Okay. What's this? Map. Okay, good. Useful. Uh. I don't see anything else. Well. Computer spike, meta pack. Or med pack. Why did I say meta pack? Okay, so yeah, there's that entrance. I gotta remember that. Let's go check over here. Oh. 
Ah. Oh, don't miss. Credits, and it's supposed to be okay. That's nothing. Okay. Let's check over here. I think I can. No. Okay, no, I can't. I thought I could like climb up, climb up that, but I guess I can't. All right, let's check this other side. Disable the patrol must have put that. Uh, those are actually probably fine. I don't think I need to. I don't have to really have to mess with those. Help! Help me, please. I I can feel it inside my skin. Something growing, like some kind of hideous disease. Let's see. No! No! I can ah, see it. He's rat ghouled. God, they're ugly. Oh, I didn't realize I had this. Shoot. That did some damage on him. Alright, there's nothing back here. Poor guy. I hate. I didn't. Did you set up these mines? Is that probably did? Let's go this way. Oh, that's just Karth. Disable that. I don't see anything over here, so probably is nothing. Yeah. Oh no, is that an? I think that's an escape pod. I couldn't really tell. All right, so we have to go up to the right. So we'll have to go up this way. Oh, that's okay. There's that way. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. Oh, look who it is. Oh, I hope I hope I, please don't tell me I want to fight. Don't don't move. I'm I'm not afraid to use this blaster if I have to. Settle down, kid. We've already lost enough men to those damn rat ghouls. The last thing we need now is more casualties from a needless firefight. Mm. By the looks of you, I'd say you're down here for the same reason we are. To salvage something from those downed Republic space pods. Let me give you some advice. Forget about it. Do yourself a favor and just head back from where you came. This isn't a good place to stand around chatting. The Undercity is crawling with rat ghouls. I've already lost a half a dozen men to those monsters. Candrus, I heard something. Over there, in the shadows. Sounded like a rat ghoul. Oh, it is. Oh, it's multiple. Looks like we've got company. Get those blasters ready, boys. Holy. Damn. I told Davik this salvage mission was a bad idea. His men aren't trained for this kind of thing, and I can't babysit them all. Okay, boys. We're getting out of here before I lose anyone else. I can't carry all this salvage back by myself. You'd be smart to get out of here as well. Even if you can handle the rat ghouls, I doubt there's anything worth finding anymore. What do you mean? Davik sent me down here with this motley crew to scavenge whatever we could from the Republic escape pods that crashed during the recent battle overhead. But the lower city gangs got here first. Anything worthwhile in those Republic pods is probably in their hands by now. Tavok won't like that. Thank you, Timmy. Uh. 
Normally, I'd make you regret those words, but I'm not wasting another minute down here. I'm responsible for this whole company, and they won't survive down here much longer. Come on, boys, let's move out! Alright. Karth, you need to heal yourself. One more. Yes. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. You got it. Oh, there's one right there. Uh... A break off. Crack grenade. Okay. Did you have anything? No. Oh, there's multiple right here. I love this fury attack. Nice. Okay. Let's go the Yeah, disable that. Thank you. Anything over here? Credits. Alright, hold on, let's just in case. Oh, you're like... Oh, thanks. Oh, shoot. Nice. Great job, guys. Oh, I think this is the one I was looking for. Antidote. Yep. Alright, let's go. Okay. I think that is all of them. Yeah. Okay. I think that's all of them. So let's head back. gates right here and we need to go down here to him hey buddy found the journal greetings once more it is as I feared then she joins the list of those who have given their lives in the service of our cause. But though I am saddened by this news, there is yet hope. By finding my apprentice, you have proved yourself worthy, Upworlder. You are to be the beacon on our path to salvation. You will guide us to the promised land. Guide you? What are you talking about? You are marked, Upworlder. Even my dim old eyes can see the mantle of destiny that cloaks you. Perhaps old Rokil knows you better than you know yourself. I am old. I have lived a hundred years in the Undercity. Cast down. The great city of Taris covers the okay. century ago. From what I've seen of Terrace, it doesn't look like much has changed. Except for the upper city, people here are just as bad off as the poor in your little history. But the poor rose up again. The rebellion was cr Many brave men- What did you expect? If they could get away with it, the Teresian nobles would stuff their own mothers down here to- No, we- Okay. I offer you- Very well, up- Okay. There's that. Alright guys, that is where we will end part two, and when we come back, we will pick up right where we left off, heading into the sewers to find Zalbar. And other than that, guys, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, be sure to comment below, and I will see y'all in the next video. See ya!